Hey everybody, it's Tony Corbell again for TeamBowens.com and I just wanted to jump in here with some of the Q&A's that we've been doing from time to time, or video questions and answers. As you write in questions, as we see multiple times uh, the same question, we decide that's those are the ones that we want to answer with a video here. So uh, we have tried to respond to each of you for each question that you write. We try to send a response, so hope you're getting those responses from us. Uh, but today we have a question that has come up several times, and I just wanted to Make sure I get it right here. This is from Ryan in Atlanta, Georgia. Why would I use a softbox instead of an umbrella in a portrait situation? Uh, Ryan, the, the, that's a kind of an interesting question and one that a lot of people asked, and that's why we wanted to address it. Uh, an umbrella is a great light source. It is one of the easiest to get your hands on. L umbrellas are very, very inexpensive. They're accessible for just about everybody, and they're great because they send light everywhere. They light large areas very, very easily. And that's the good news and bad news. Uh, if I'm going to light a group of 15 or 20 people, two umbrellas, and I can light the whole group. But if I'm in a small studio, especially a small portrait studio, and it's dark and I'm trying to control light and keep light contained and maybe light this side of the face and not the other side and maybe this person but not the background, I cannot do that with an umbrella. Uh, the good news about the umbrella is umbrellas send light everywhere, and that's the great news. That's also the bad news. <laughs> it's also the bad news about an umbrella. Umbrellas send light everywhere. So it's, it's one of those tools that really, really we all need to keep in our bag, and we use them and pull them out a lot. Uh, I've, for some reason, I've over my career done an awful lot of group photography, and I've got some group photography uh, classes coming up, in fact. Um, and I'm not quite sure how that has come about, but I do know that with group photography, I've got to have my umbrellas with me. It's the only way I can light 5, 6, 7, 10, 12 people, 30, 100 people is with umbrellas. Can't do that in a small studio. That's when I need that sculpting light quality of a softbox where I can really sculpt the light quality on someone's face and really, really deliver the, the best uh, portrait that I can and make it, you know, as I as always like to say, it's a complementary likeness of my subject. It's a little bit difficult to do that with an umbrella. So for me, that's the that's the big answer, uh, Ryan. So just know the, the difference between those two. Umbrellas are great for lighting big groups, not so great for small spaces that you need control. I hope that's helpful, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Tony Corbell at TeamBullens.com. Check us out anytime at our blog site. And then also you can find all of our videos here on our YouTube channel, uh, Bowens TV. Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.